This is the Checkgo golf ball balancer. And in my last video, I did it completely wrong. So I've drilled that hole bigger, just to allow me to get a Sharpie in here enough to be able to touch the ball from the inside. Otherwise, you're stuck to just this black pen that's included within the device. But I find black a bit boring sometimes. So in this device, we take the lid off, we put the ball in, we put the lid back on, we press go, and we keep hold of this button until the light stays green. You can hear it spinning and spinning and spinning. Light stays on, the ball is good. So the process we want to go through is we want to tap the dot on the top of the ball, and there we get a tiny little pink ring just there. And then what we want to do is we want to take the lid off, wait for the ball to stop. I wouldn't advise doing this because they can just fly everywhere. Now, the Shrixen Divide golf balls are quite often right on that center line or just off it. They don't get too far away from that. But what I said on the last video was that basically this is the lightest point of the ball on top and the heaviest point must be at the bottom. I was incorrect. And the way that I've tested that is I glued a bit of lead tape to the side of a golf ball just to see what happens to it. My theory with this that is when the weight's on the top of the ball, if I spin this really slowly, that weight's going to fall away from that top part of the golf ball. Like you see there, it's moved away. In my head, I thought that weight will go all the way to the bottom of the golf ball, but it doesn't. You can see that line on top that I've done before gets in the same place. And if I were to put the lid on and put a pen in the side of here, I get a line around the side of the golf ball. So if I stop this from spinning and see where that line is, I've got some extra marks here because I was just mucking around. If I slow this down nice and slowly, there we go. That center line that I've drawn is on that weight. So we've got that weight right around the equator. So we want to putt on that line. So the weight goes end over end, which is controversial to what I said last time, but I've actually tested it this time. So I definitely know that the weight positioning within the core of a golf ball, if it is slightly off, will get thrown to the outside equator of the golf ball. Now, what we want to do is we got that first test where we've got the dot on top. I'm going to put that dot right at the base of the golf ball and basically just see if it comes out in the same spot again. And we might see that from this angle. And we're up to speed, the light is on, but I don't think that is in the same place as last time. So I'm just gonna mark the top of that, a little tap. And this could well be a good example of a not very well balanced golf ball, because I've done this three times on this ball and I've got here, here, and here, I've got three different spots each time. That ball is not very well balanced, so that goes into general play, and I don't use that for competition. And that is the first time I've actually seen that happen on a golf ball. Again, we've got this one here, put that on the base. What I'm searching for here is what balls I want to use in competition. If we get them balancing in the same way every time, then we know that the bias is consistent. And then on this one, I can see that that black dot is on the top of the golf ball again. So I'm gonna put my line around the side of it. If I just poke my pen in the side here, then that line appears on the golf ball. And then when I take this off, slow that down, that's on the same pot on top. I wanna to draw my proper thick line for putting on this one. So then the weight is going end over end. I'm not gonna get weight on the side of the golf ball, pulling it either way towards or away from the target. And that's how I would balance a ball using the Check Go Balancer. I don't know if the differences that we see between doing this and not doing this are substantial enough to get different scores on the scorecard. Um, I'm just a nerd and I like doing weird stuff with my golf. Stay tuned and watch another video if you don't mind. This ball's looking a bit knackered now and I'm pretty sure I can't use that on the golf course. Although I could do some mud ball experiments. What do you reckon?